fix and flip property like the one behind me listed for $210,000, how do you determine if you're getting a good deal or not? Let's run through my entire process for evaluating a fix and flip property. First thing I'm gonna do is run through all the photos and determine a scope of work and a estimated rehab value based on what I think the rehab is gonna cost. Obviously this can be difficult, especially if this is your first flip and you don't know the certain prices that everything costs. But you should be able to ask your contractor general prices per square foot of what things are gonna cost. For example, I know my contractor is going to charge about six to eight dollars a square foot for flooring depending on what type of flooring we do. For this $210,000 home, I determined that the rehab was gonna cost somewhere between thirty-five dollars and $40,000 depending on what we did to the property. Next, you're gonna hop on Zillow and determine the after rehab value by going under sold properties, clicking apply, and this is gonna give you all the sold properties in the area. You wanna find properties that are in similar condition to your after rehab value that are less than a mile from the subject property and have the similar square footage and bedroom bathroom count to your subject property. I determined that the after rehab value was gonna be somewhere between 280 and 320. Now I know that's a large range, but there weren't that many comps for this home in this particular area. I'm thinking we might actually have a viable deal here. So I double check my work on the rehab amount with my contractor and then on the after rehab value with a realtor. Now the contractor tells me that the rehab is gonna be $34,000, which is on the low end of what my estimate was, but you always want to estimate a little bit high to give yourself some buffer. Next on the after rehab value, the realtor tells me that she thinks the property will be worth 280 dollars after rehab. A major rule I always follow is that you don't want your purchase price plus your rehab to be over 75% of the after rehab value. So 75% of $280,000 is $210, but that's the list price. So we need to take off the rehab amount of $34,000 from that $210, and that's what we can pay for the property, which is $176.